Welcome to this quick little video tutorial on using the Google Apps for Education on an iPad. All of our iPads in the district come with four Google um, apps previously installed. I found it useful to put all four of them into a single folder, but you certainly don't have to. As you can see, there are separate uh, apps for, the, for Google Drive, for Slides, Sheets, and then Docs. If I go into my Drive folder, I can see all of my folders as if I am on a desktop computer or a laptop. Uh, if I go into one of my folders, um, let me scroll down here, um, I see all of the items that are in there. More folders, I see docs, I see files, um, I can see presentations and sheets if I had those as well. If I open up one of these, if I go to this one down here, um, you'll notice that it immediately opens up the actual Google Doc. Uh, if you look up here in the top left corner, um, you'll notice that that would take me back to Drive. So if I tap on that, it takes me immediately back to Google Drive. Uh, and I can go immediately then back to that same document. If I double tap the home screen, I can see all the apps that I have open, and you'll actually see that I'm no longer in Drive. The iPad automatically opens up the Google Docs app when I open a file on a Drive. If I had opened up a Google Sheet, you would have opened the Sheets app. If I had opened up a Google Presentation, it would have opened the Presentation app, right? So it knows what kind of um, file it is, and it opens up the appropriate app for that. Um, you can see that I'm already um, logged in here. If I go ahead and hit that Edit button, it allows me then to edit just like I am on a, on a computer or a laptop or a Chromebook. Um, if I hit the three dots up here, I get a lot more information, and this is where I could share, right? So I can um, add people to share it, I can send it, uh, I can make a copy, I could copy the link to a clipboard, to email it to somebody. So this is where um, you have a lot more of those, those features that you're used to seeing along that top menu bar on a um, computer. If I then hit back to Drive, I come back into my Drive and I can open up other folders um, and other files as well. Now just a couple quick sort of um, other features. If I do four fingers and swipe, I can go to the next app. So I've now opened um, back into Docs, four finger back, now I'm in Drive, right? And then I can go back, I can do another four finger swipe um, and go into my pictures. Another four finger swipe, I go to the App Store. So whatever is open, I can swipe back and forth to with four fingers. I also, if I double tap the home screen button, I can go back and forth between my apps as well, uh, which is another quick way to change back and forth. Um, one of the easiest ways though, is if you, if you open up this, the last app that you were in is always in the top left corner, immediately taking me back to Drive. Uh, now that I'm in Drive, um, one of the other pieces of information that is important is this, again, this plus button down here in the bottom right corner. Uh, I could create a new Google Doc, a new Google Sheet, a new Google Slide, I could upload stuff, uh, I can make a new folder, I could add images, and again, if I create a new Google Slide, guess what? It's opened Google Slides for me. So if I simply make a new presentation and hit Create, right, I'm now in Google Slides. And I can go back up here to Drive, I can double tap, I see Slides open, I see Drive open, and I see Docs open. So it's quick and easy to go back and forth between all the apps. Hope this helps kind of get you started using Google Docs on the iPads. If you have any questions, certainly send them our way in the Instructional Technology Department. We're here to help. Have a great day.